This is Awkward Across or Awkward Entertainment. So, quick update from yesterday, which everybody knows. Um, nobody found us, Suzanne Murphy. Don't know if they would have arrested Barry on the spot if they did find a body and tested it to be Suzanne. They probably would have. Um, that's a possible chance Mr. Murphy Barry could be brought in on an arrest affidavit. He could still be brought in on a warrant. The police could gather all their circumstantial evidence, just like the Letitia Stouts case. Gather all their circumstantial evidence, write an affidavit, and get him in handcuffs. That's always possible. They have a lot of circumstantial evidence, like the hotel, like the job, him acting funny. Saturday would be character witness. Um, Jeff Puckett and Morgan would be character witnesses. Don't know who the guys that approach Mr. Morgan and try to bribe her. To my, this isn't hush-hush money, but don't talk to the police. Whatever. Everything's circumstantial and that seems suspicious. That point to the the husband um, killing the wife is what they can write an affidavit up on. And you see how they did Letitia Stouch once again. Like, want no blood in the trunk. Her blood was also in that room on her shoes. It was, it was some other blood inside the light socket or the electrical socket in Ghana's room. They still haven't figured out how she got to Florida. Like they don't, they don't know where she went for those two missing hours in the car the day he went missing. They don't know if he got out the car as they state in the affidavit, but they believe so. So they can come up with some theories or some beliefs. Like, I believe Barry Murphy was this, that, and third. Get an arrest affidavit, have a judge sign it. Let's get this started. I believe Mr. Andy Mormon said on Profiling Evil, police were dotting their, eye, dotting their I's and crossing their T's to arrest Barry Murphy. That's what I took from that statement. Police are dotting their I's and crossing their T's. So they're, they're going to write up something on him. All right, I don't want to talk about anything else. Yes, I do. Yes, I do want to talk about something else. How do I get there, though? How do I get there? All right, we're going to go over to the internet because I want to check out a comment by another YouTuber. This has to do with the psychics that were out there. Oh, yeah, the psychics got it wrong. Yeah, yeah, I'm Christian. We don't, we don't play with psychics anyway because they play with demons, but they got it wrong once again. So there's zero for 200. <laughs> Let's go over to the next comment, or next part of this video. So, the person whose page this is will not be named, because I really don't want to talk about their crazy craziness. They're all so crazy. I just want to look for the post I'm looking for, which is by Hugh Animal. Not that one. That's not the one. Now, here we go. Hugh Animal. I can't read the... I can't read the whole thing because I don't know some stuff she's saying. Now, we will have Wet Patch, Paho, and Hot Mess coming out making videos about the psychic mumbo jumbo, right? Because the psychic's, like, got it wrong. The psychic's still uploading videos to YouTube getting it wrong. I guess they're using general areas again. She's by the water. She's by rocks, I guess. They're not going to say she's in a freezer, in a cooler, and waiting to be buried later on. They're not going to say that. Um, Suzanne was Christian and would not, she would not appreciate psychics. If you're really Christian, you do not play with psychics at all. If you're really Christian. She would not appreciate the fact they were being entertained. And they were being entertained and you guys were entertaining them. Which is um, against the law. People who want to control the supernatural rather than be controlled, controlled and be in awe of the supernatural Jesus Christ. So I don't understand what that part means. Christians do not get into psychic stuff. Um, from MKY, understanding. If people feel differently, please let me know. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, she didn't respond to. So she, she didn't respond. This was weak. No, this was weak. Why you didn't respond to them, you animal? I would have responded to them. I'm just gonna respond to them now. Anyway. Uh, VB. 
Yes, the psychic realm can be tricky for Christians because we don't go into the psychic realm. I just did a video about Chris, was it Chris Long? Not in Chris Long, Michael Long and Sophia Long. And about um, Mr. Michael Long's trip into magic. Okay, the Old Testament has zero tolerance. And the New Testament doesn't have has zero tolerance too. She says the Old Testament has zero tolerance, tolerance, but people argue that Jesus never spoke. Clairvoyance is the same as being psychic, doll. Jesus wasn't clairvoyant. That's all tricks and trades of the devil. It's it's not debatable at all. It's debatable, but I would assume Suzanne wouldn't be having practices that are frowned upon in a typical Christian church. Mm, of course, each person has their what you mean all Christian churches are supposed to be the same? No Christian church uses psychics or clairvoyance. They are not Christians. And people want to adhere to a doctrine that tickles their ears and a doctrine that accepts the evil they're going to going through. So nowhere in the New Testament or Old Testament does it say we accept clairvoyance, we accept magic. The New Testament is totally against divination. So she 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 didn't mention that it's against divination. It says it in the New Testament. Clairvoyance is divination, y'all. If Jesus Christ wasn't doing it, what makes you think you're doing it? It's all still is a cult. I have changed my views of. Well, if you change your views and gotten older, I don't think these things are evil. You're not Christian no more. You're going to hell. Yeah, you're just going to hell. She's not Christian. Let's let's go. Oh, yeah. Well, Miss Miss V B is going to hell. So far, she is hunted. She is somewhat demon possessed. She is schizophrenic. She will hear voices and see things. They don't tell you. They don't tell you what's real. Let me see. Anyway, my response is um, the Old Testament and New Testament are strictly against divination. Tarot cards, crystals, anything you can think of, we are against it. What is clairvoyance? Like you hear voices, you see stuff. In the medical, um, in the medical field, they call that schizophrenic. Like you lost your mind. They call it the same thing in Christianity. You lost your mind. But no, no. Let's just end this out. This is just end this out. I'm just talking on and on. All right. Let's see if Mr. Um, Barry Murphy ends up in jail under an arrest warrant. I'm in this. This has been awkward occurrence, awkward entertainment. Remember to stay away from those psychics, those little demons, and you will be just fine. You won't be losing your mind, seeing stuff, hearing stuff, and then admitted into an insane asylum. Like these people aren't telling you. They're going to be admitted into an insane asylum. Uh, VB will go insane. Um, she does have nightmares. She will continue to have nightmares. Uh, I don't I hope she doesn't commit suicide. Hopefully she comes to God. But people who get into crystals, tarot cards, usually end up killing themselves in the end. Because the devils take over your body. They can cause you so much uh, physical pain. So much physical pain. You thought those spirits were your friends. You thought they were your friends. You thought they were good. Like We warned you. We warned you. And you decided to keep doing what you wanted to do. Against what's right. And... That you would pay. And this has been Awkward Occurrence, Awkward Entertainment. And I'll see you in the next video.